who owns reality in Lebanon? If you ask the Lebanese Kardashians, the Abdel Aziz sisters, they do. The three young women who star in their own reality show have attracted both fascination and outrage. Why? Ayman Siksik has the answer for you. Time to keep up with the Abdul Aziz family. Meet Alice, Nadine, and Farah, the three Lebanese sisters who are taking the Middle Eastern country by storm. I think people watch the show because they like to see three sisters living together. And they like to see how we dress and what we do on a daily basis. We already have so many followers on Instagram, and so it's an opportunity for them to see what we do in real life on the show. The reality show, The Sisters, follows the young women in their everyday lives, which consists of shopping, makeup, and of course, the obligatory selfie. Sound familiar? The show is based on the worldwide success of Maybe keeping up with the Kardashians. I only know how to do duck lips, and they were Chloe lips before the duck took them. Our message is not just to show that we are beautiful on the air. It's not just about us going out and partying in fashion. All three of us have a goal in life. The sisters has not turned everyone into a fan just yet. Some say the sisters' privileged lives are an insulting display in light of Lebanon's growing wealth gap. But that's not the only reason women in particular resent the show. I don't know why we can't take something smarter and more intelligent and that would show women in positive light, right? And I think that this show kind of reinforces all these negative stereotypes. Women in liberal Lebanon are in a battle over how their global image is portrayed. And the tool for winning this battle is financial. With an estimated population of 4.37 million in 2015, Lebanon's wealth is estimated at $91 billion. But only 8,000 people, or 0.3%, own close to half the total amount. And in this financial reality show, the wealthy Abdelaziz sisters are the only winners. Yes, Lebanon, that you don't know.